We've been invited on site by Allen Geomatics. Jeff Allen's an old buddy of mine. Uh, we go back since uh, my early days of surveying. And Jeff's got a recent interest in uh, drone work and more or less how it could apply to surveying. He started down that path some time ago, and uh, as well as I. And I think I've, I've kind of gotten to a place that I can, I can help Jeff out with some information as well as uh, a little bit of a demo with uh, our equipment here at MicroDrones and kind of help fill that, that void of understanding of what's going on with uh, the LiDAR technology and how we're using it here at MicroDrones and how it may actually even benefit Allen Geomatics in the future. So what's, what's going on out here? Tell me the, the story about the site and what you guys have done so far. Yeah, we uh, we got a topo going on out here. It's about a 15 acres. You can see some of it's uh, pretty wooded. Mm -hmm. And so we got two guys in the woods right now. We started yesterday and got a little head start. We've got some open area over here. Got a one man going with the uh, robotic total station. He's already collected some data. Okay. But uh, we've probably got another two or three days in front of us. This is about a 15 acre site. Purpose is to do boundary topo uh, for grading, planning, uh, for an apartment complex. You know, there's a good hill in the site. It's going to be a lot of earthwork to be done, so topo is important. So I went ahead and uh, took a look at the, the information that you sent me, got my plan together. Um, doesn't look like it's going to be too complicated of a site for me. Uh, there's a couple areas of vegetation that I think are going to give us a bit of a problem, but just because it's young, it's low, it's dense kind of stuff. Uh, the more mature woods, we're going to do great in, I feel. But overall, I think this is going to be a, a fairly simple site for me to fly in a single uplift, about a 20 minute flight kind of thing. Uh, definitely very interested to see like how well we can pair. You know, I think yeah. we're going to do great in the woods. I think there'll be a great comparison, but some of this dense vegetation on the edges, I may not do so well in. So I'm, I'm curious to see, you know, how well, how well we compare there. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about what you guys have gotten done so far. Uh, I know you guys have already been out here. You've gotten some work done. So let's see where you are there progress wise. Right. Some of the challenges for this site are going to be the thick vegetation. There's a pretty good sized gully running through the middle of the site in addition to the hill going down to a creek on the backside. Probably look at about five days of field work. So we're oriented like this. Um, okay, so you've already got your control set yep, up here, Trevor yep. started. Got our control yeah. line set up here and yesterday's data, so you can see the area we covered, which is maybe an acre. Yeah, and no, day. definitely still got a ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... We've got a creek back here that we're going to. We've got a huge hill ridge right here falling off on both sides. Probably eight new apartment buildings going okay. on this site. So yeah, it'll be interesting to, to compare and contrast the, the two different data sets for sure. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad we went over the, the site right quick just to kind of see what you guys have gotten accomplished. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head up the hill and, and get the drone set up. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get the drone out, get it set up. Planning this mission, I uh, started out in Google Earth, uh, more or less just to kind of get a review of the site. And one of the things that I picked up on is it looked like the site had been recently graded. So I used Google Earth to kind of go through the imagery over the years to more or less get a feel for how the site had changed. And the reason why is because I want to use terrain follow while we're out here. Well, this site changed in 2008. So this site is no longer relative to the models that we use for the terrain follow. So essentially I had to take that in consideration and where I'm launching from, we have about a 10 to 15 meter difference from the actual model versus where we actually are on the ground, which will have an impact on how the flight actually goes down compared to the planning. So I had to take that in consideration, uh, which isn't too big of a deal. It's just kind of knowing your environment up front, taking a look at it, making those considerations and planning accordingly. All right, motor's on. The actual flying of the site today, and in comparison to the conventional data collection, which is you know easily five days we're hearing, they're only grabbing a single point, possibly every 25, 50 feet, depending on you know the environment they're in, flat areas. You know you go a little bit further out in areas where you have you know relief, you get a little bit tighter. One of the cool things about the drone is we're going to have more about like anywhere from 150 to 300 points per square meter. So that is a significantly a lot more data than what the conventional surveys are going to be able to capture. Which goes back to that topic of you know we're going to see undulation in the terrain that you're just not going to ca capture typically with a conventional survey.
I have a suspicion that Jeff is going to be pretty uh, impressed with the point cloud. Um, I've been doing this work for, what, nine years now, uh, working with LiDAR, and I, I still get excited about point clouds. I mean, it's, it's just a great thing to look at. There's so much information there. I mean, you can get lost just panning through the point cloud and checking out the information. I mean, it's, it's pretty wild. It's like I started saying it early on. It's like with working with LiDAR, you're eventually going out and scanning your environment and then surveying it back in the office. And I think that's, that's a pretty cool tool.